my internet. So I realized today that I haven't done a wrap up since last October and um, I thought I would try to wrap up all my readings since then, like really quickly. Let's get started. Uh, so the first book I read in November is Carry On by Rainbow Roll. Um, this one is kind of a spin-off book from Fangirl, if you don't know. Uh, it tells about Simon and Bass who go to this wizard school. Uh, it's a kind of take on all the saviour stories. I really enjoyed this. I gave it five stars. Basically, it's um, the book that the dreary fangirl in me fantasized about um, when I was reading Harry Potter books. Uh, I just love Simon and Bass. They're so cute. The story is awesome. The second book I read in November was Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. This tells about this girl who's allergic to the world and kind of has to live in this really uh, sterilized environment. Um, and then this guy moves uh, to the house next door and they kind of start um, talking with each other uh, via IM messaging and stuff. And um, uh, I really like this. It was really a uh, fast and cute read and some of the story is told in like this um, email conversations and like I am messaging and um, also like pictures. So yeah, it was really fast read and I really enjoyed this. So four stars. The third book I read in November was Confess by Colin Hoover. Um, this one tells about this girl who meets this uh, art gallery guy and um, starts working there. I don't really know how to explain the, the stories of Colin Hoover books. are uh, Kind of like the, the basic premise is the same. A girl meets a guy and then stuff happens. And I gave this two stars. I do think um, Colleen Hoover has this tendency to be kind of overdramatic and um, I didn't like the girl, I thought she was really weak, the guy was really creepy and all the side characters were kind of annoying so I gave this two stars. I did like the confessions that are included in this book and I think they're actually from the actual readers and also um, the artwork in the book is quite nice so yeah but that's pretty much everything i liked about this book so then i read um another little black classic uh this one is the nightingales are drunk by hafez um these are kind of like poetry about love and heartbreak and celebrating life's small pleasures and i really like this and yeah four stars Another little black classic I'd read in, uh, read in November was um, How a Ghastly Story Was Brought to Light by a Common or Garden Butcher's Dog by um, Johann Peter Hebel. And um, these are like um, German fables and stories and that sort of thing. Yeah, I really enjoyed these. I thought they were quite clever. And yeah, four stars. And then I read A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. Um, this is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, but with fairies. Personally, I uh, enjoyed this more than uh, Throne of Glass. And I can't wait to get the sequel, because it seems that we're gonna see more of Rissant. And he's definitely my favourite character <laughs> in this book. I like the boys bad. And um, Lucian as well. I liked him. Uh, the, the start of this book was a bit slow, but uh, it definitely got better towards the end. And the last thing I read in November was uh, this YA anthology Slasher Girls and Monster Boys by uh, April Genevieve Ducholke. Um, great read for Halloween. Uh, I really enjoyed this. I thought this was actually quite strong for YA anthology. Some of the stories were genuinely very creepy and scary. And yeah, uh, obviously because there's many stories, some of them are weaker than others, but overall I really like this and gave it four stars. 
So the first book I finished in December was uprooted by Naomi Novik, which I actually started I think in July. It took me forever to read this book, but I did actually enjoy it in the end. Um, this one tells about this village that's surrounded by this evil wood. Um, and then there's this uh, wizard called Dragon, who's kind of keeping the wood at bay. Uh, and every 10 years uh, he comes to the village and takes one of the girls. And yeah, I don't know, I think the uh, the dragon kind of reminded me of Rumpelstiltskin from Once Upon a Time, so I kind of liked him. And the story itself kind of reminded me of these Eastern European fairy tales. It is a bit slow, so, you know, you have to kind of give it time. But yeah, I did um, really end up enjoying this, and the cover is absolutely gorgeous as well, so I gave this four stars. The next thing I read uh, in um, December was two Volume 7, Bad Apples, and you've probably heard me talking about this series on this channel already. It tells about this um, cyberpathic detective, Tony Chu, who can basically um, get these psychic impressions of everything he eats, including human bodies. And um, as, the, as the series goes on, there's more people with weird abilities and the, the story is really funny actually, but also gross. And it's one of my favorite graphic novels and I just, I really enjoyed the humor in this series. So, five stars for Bad Apples. The next thing I read in uh, December was this gorgeous edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling and this is the illustrated edition uh, by Jim Kay and uh, let me just show you some of the photos and it is absolutely stunning and it's heavy as heck and uh, <laughs> um, all the Harry Potters are going to be published in these illustrated editions and I'm just so excited to get them all because they're going to be huge at some point. And these illustrated editions are so cool and I can't wait to own them all. And who's excited for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child? Because that's one of my most anticipated releases of this year. Um, but yeah, five stars, obviously. The next book I read in December is another Colleen Hoover book. This is November 9 and this one I actually quite enjoyed. I gave this four stars. Again, the girl meets a guy, Ben, who's an aspiring novelist and he kind of gets inspiration from her and they meet every year uh, on November 9 for the next five years and some drama ensues, some unne unnecessary drama as well. But overall I quite enjoyed this story, so four stars. Then um, I ended up reading another uh, new adult novel. Uh, this one is Unteachable by Leah Rader. Uh, absolutely love Leah's writing. It is stunning if you haven't heard me raving about her or him um, enough already, um, you should go and pick these books up. Uh, this one tells about Maze O'Malley, uh, who uh, ends up having this one night stand at the end of summer. And when the school starts, she realizes that the one night stand is um, her new teacher, and they continue the relationship. And I love this, five stars. It's so good. The writing is amazing. And the last book I read in December is First and Then by Emma Mills. This cover um, design is absolutely gorgeous. Under the um, dust jacket as well. Surprise! Stunning book overall. Um, this one tells about this girl. Um, she's kind of dealing with falling for the wrong guy and um, also having um, her cousin move in. This is described as Pride and Prejudice meets Friday Night Lights and I thought it was okay, I gave it three stars. The first book I read in 2016 was Cam Girl by Leah Rader. 
uh, again, five stars. <laughs> Amazing. I can't give anything less to Leah's books. Um, this one tells about Vada and Ellis, these two best friends who are sometimes more. They get into a car accident and Vada ends up really badly inju uh, injuring her arm, which is bad for her because uh, she's an artist and can continue doing that. So she decides to take this job as a camp girl. And then this mysterious guy starts paying her to have these private chats and they kind of end up falling for each other. Um, this book deals with LBT themes and like issues with identity. Um, I really love this. Um, I highly recommend this because uh, the theme of the book is really important and everyone should read it and love it. The next book I read in January was um, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Absolutely loved this. This was fantastic. I dare say this is gonna be in my favorite books of 2016. Uh, it tells about these six kind of outcasts, uh, outlaws, uh, that uh, decide to uh, attempt this impossible heist of breaking in to this um, really high security prison uh, to break out this one prisoner and this was just so good. All the characters were fantastic. Uh, I can't wait to get the sequel which incidentally is coming out on my birthday this September and just amazing like I can you should go and read this and the, the design of this book as well is it's gorgeous. I love this so much. And the final book I read in January is The Young Elites by Marie Lou. The first book in the Young Elite series. Uh, this one tells about these um, kids who have survived this blood fever and as a consequence they've kind of got these uh, crazy powers. Uh, our main character Adelina is one of them and she's kind of an anti-hero she kind of has questionable morals and I thought that was really fun because uh, usually your heroes in the books are kind of um, really good um, and there's nothing questionable about them and yeah uh, Adelina was quite uh, refreshing and I gave this book four stars. The first thing I finished in February was um, the fourth book in the Fever series um, called Fay Fever by Karen Marie Moaning, 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 Karen Marie Moaning. I'm not sure if that's correct. Anyway, um, this series is this um, adult urban fantasy series about uh, Michaela Lane, who learns that uh, her sister has been murdered in Ireland and she decides to investigate things further and learns that there's this whole other world of fairies and other paranormal creatures. So far, I've really enjoyed this series. I gave this four stars. The next thing I read in February was The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Water. Um, this one tells about this girl who's been told that if she kisses her true love, then the true love will die. But more than that, uh, there's this whole um, story about Lee Lines and this Welsh king that they're trying to find. Um, and magic, and it's really hard to kind of describe the plot of this book, but it was great. I gave this four stars. And the last book I read in uh, February is Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. Um, this one tells about this girl Sky who meets this kind of bad boy um, holder who has um, kind of a promiscuous reputation as does Sky. Uh, and obviously they feel attracted to each other and then Sky starts to remember all this crazy stuff from her past and yeah, um, I didn't really like this. I gave this two stars. I think that was just way too much drama. Uh, I did like find it 
quite addictive and some of the dialogue was quite funny but um, it just went too overboard for me and I didn't end up enjoying it so two stars unfortunately hi guys today I'm filming a very quick March wrap up I think I'm gonna combine it with my recent reads video which is gonna include basically every book I've read since like last November or December or when was the last time I made a wrap up I've been really bad with wrap ups lately <laughs> uh, so the first book I read in uh, March was uh, Made You Up by Francesca Zappia uh, I really like this cover it's absolutely gorgeous and the back of it as well and this book tells about this girl with uh, mental health issues uh, she's been diagnosed with uh, schizophrenia and the, the back of the book basically states she was used to crazy, she wasn't prepared for normal. Um, this was an average book for me, I gave it three stars. I wanted to like this more but uh, I don't know, I just wasn't interested in the story. Uh, the writing for me I think, I don't know, do I want to say it was too basic for my liking because <laughs> I'm not saying it was bad but I just I've been reading loads of these books with really like kind of poetic writing like really like a lot of metaphors and that sort of thing and this was anything but so maybe if you like that sort of writing then this book is for you it just didn't do it for me I guess but overall yeah three three stars it wasn't bad but it wasn't my favorite the next book i read was um, the love that split the world by emily henry and this one i absolutely loved i gave this five stars it tells about this girl who's finishing her high school in this small town kentucky i think it was she starts to see these weird things and then this uh, grandmother person shows up and tells her that she has three months to save him and doesn't really give anything else for her and it's really hard to categorize this book because it includes kind of like time travel um, it has a bit of a romance as well uh, but also like elements of magical realism and <laughs> I just really like this. The, the writing in this one is quite poetic, I think, and um, it includes like really interesting themes about psychology and all these really um, interesting stories from like Native, uh, Native Americans, which I really liked. And I think the ending kind of left me wanting more, but in a way it was still perfect. Uh, and I really really like this book so I highly recommend this. Now moving on to the book I hate it and I'm a bit scared because I know many people ab absolutely love this. It's a classic, uh, one of the first like young adult books I guess. I didn't like it. I read it in high school and I already like I remember not liking it back then but um, because I wasn't sure I gave it three stars in Goodreads and now I decided to give it another go and yeah I dropped my rating to one star that book <laughs> I'm talking about is The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger and I don't understand like I'm sorry if this is your favorite book or anything but Holden for me is one of the most annoying and frustrating characters I wanted to smack him so many times while reading this I know it's supposed to be about like teenage alienation and like feeling disconnected from the world or something but uh, I just found him so whiny and he obviously has some problems because he's feeling so miserable and depressed all the time but he's not getting help he's avoiding going home there's really no plot to this book at all about from Holden wandering the streets of New York and having drinks with random people uh, who he keeps like hating and calling phony and like him pondering about calling this one girl and not doing it and I just <laughs> the 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 uh, language of this book as well like for me it gets really repetitive like it keeps repeating the same sentences over and over again 
<sighs> I don't know. Like, it's not even that long. The book I have is like, what, 220 pages or something. And it took me like almost two weeks to finish this because I kept falling asleep while picking this up. Like, every other page I was like, my eyes were getting droopy and stuff. And I wasn't interested in the, the story. I, I like... I didn't like the characters. Like, the only character actually that was okay for me was uh, Holden's little sister, uh, Phoebe, who was kind of like trying to get some sense into Holden, but um, otherwise, no, this was a big no for me. The The only thing I liked was at the start of the book when Holden says um, he wishes that um, the his favorite authors would be his like good friends so he could call them up whenever like he felt like it and with that i can like agree with but about anything else like i just i couldn't connect and i guess that's the problem like maybe the teenage angst isn't for me i remember like kind of having a teenage angst period but even then i still didn't like this book so sorry but not sorry you know and that is my march wrap up so let me know if you have read any of these books and what did you think of them